Breaking news tonight, Mooresville's police chief Damon Williams officially off the job. We've learned he has submitted his letter of resignation. This comes a week after an exclusive NBC Charlotte investigation that revealed major safety concerns within the department. Those worries coming straight from officers on the force and the family of fallen officer Jordan Sheldon. Tonight, those officers speaking out for the first time, telling me they're upset Williams even had the option to resign on his own accord. Right now, exclusive interviews with the men who worked right alongside Officer Sheldon and what else they say needs to change. Interviews you'll only see on NBC Charlotte. The bottom line is we want Jordan Love being a policeman and he would want other police officers to be safe. So that's our whole reason for being here. Just one week after our NBC Charlotte investigation, Mooresville Police Chief Damon Williams has resigned. In an exclusive interview with the family of fallen officer Jordan Sheldon, we learned about the officer's lack of backup, missing gear like a floodlight for his car, and malfunctioning equipment, especially when it came to his emergency canine release button. When I came down here, um, it was clear that the structure of the police department uh, the command structure way it was set up wasn't working. I spoke with Interim Chief Ron Capricciani to address some of these issues. He took over after Williams was suspended a month after Sheldon's death. Williams had been under investigation since the beginning of the year amid claims of a hostile work environment. Williams was suspended with pay back in June, but had been volunteering as chief of police in Taylortown. Now officers with insight into the Mooresville Police Department are coming forward. WCNC disguising their identities so they can speak candidly. I'm not the only one that was afraid for my life. You didn't know who you could trust and who you couldn't. You know, one of the people that always had my back and always had theirs was Officer Sheldon. I felt 100% that the reason why Sheldon was no longer with us is because the agency let him down. Where was his backup? Following the investigation, Deputy Chief Gerald Childress and Major Ronnie Chilton were both demoted to the rank of police officer this month. While it was great to see that the town took some initiative, you have now put these people that we that that we as officers have openly complained about and you've now put them on the line with us. And officers we spoke with were upset Williams was allowed to resign. There's no way there's not enough to fire him. I think the town is afraid of getting more of a black eye. Another officer told me, I hope that the chief's resignation isn't the last steps for the town and they follow through with the rest of the issues with the agency, including their own policies. The officers that it's not cutting it, they're going to have to get them out of there and hire qualified officers that's not scared to do their job. Officers tell us they are still concerned for the future of the agency. I just don't want there to be another incident before everything comes out. But they are commending the family of Officer Sheldon for coming forward. I think they're doing the right thing um, because if not, I don't know if this would have got the attention that it's getting now. Officer Sheldon's family sent us a statement upon hearing the news of Chief Williams resignation, saying in part, we feel Damon Williams should have been fired given the length of the ISS investigation and the complaints voiced by Jordan and relayed by us. It is obvious that there is a total lack of leadership at the department. Actions should have consequences. To read the family's entire statement, head to our website, WCNC.com.